hello guys welcome to your new session today we are going to discuss about um, info.cucumber and uh, io.cucumber so as you know there are two jars available in the market to start with cucumber uh, development with java okay uh, if you are aware the first has come the info.quicks okay and in that let me open a new tab and explain you how to uh, create a runner class with both and how to work with both there is no difference so first has come uh, this cucumber info.quicks basically and i started my development with info.quicks in 2013 or 14 i don't forget it at that time this was the only jar available okay and after that there is no much uh, development happened for this jar and they merged with the io.cucumber after a certain time so you can see this artifact was moved to io.cucumber so we nowadays use io.cucumber okay so there is a small difference with respect to the jars and the runner class so i'll give you a detail of both so close all okay this project i have created with uh info dot quicks so you can see uh i have a two jar for cucumber one is the cucumber dot j uh, unit and cucumber dot java and i'm using the latest okay and another project i have with cucumber dot io with j unit okay sorry i'll go with the form dot xml and it has it has again two jars uh here cucumber.j unit and cucumber java only the version is different and the io now you will talk about what is the difference between this two uh there is no hardly difference between two but there is a significant difference has come into the io.cucumber is that uh, they have added one extra hooks which is called before uh, step and after step these are two annotation has come which is not there in info dot cubes okay what is that two steps are i'll just tell you let me go to any of the global variable so what is the use of that before and uh, as you know before is to execute anything before start of any scenario and after is to execute after completion of any scenario now this another has come which is called at the rate before step okay let me give something uh, like public void before step okay and you can import it now what is use i see that lot of uses are there if you want to perform certain operation before any step or after any step you can do it for example i'll tell you i want to take a screenshot okay i want to take a screenshot after step let me complete this first and then i want to take a screenshot after every execution or before every execution of the step okay as i i understand let change to after step here what is coming what is the problem okay yeah, I gave that one only. Okay, not taking the path, no problem. Before step is taking, after step. Okay, I have to give it. Let it give give it. Sometimes they don't take the path automatically. Uh, it has to import it. Okay. Anyhow, so we have done it. Before step and after step. I'll just import the after step so it will take it actually. Uh, here and I'll give, just give after step so it will take it after and I'll just remove this so it will take it because the import was not working okay so I want to take a, a screenshot before a step and I want to take a, a screenshot after step it, we might have the requirement automatically the moment you write it here the code it will after every steps it will keep on taking the screenshot I mean to say like if you are aware like every step like if i execute use the navigate to home page i want after this step is executed i want to take the 
a screenshot or before I go to some navigation I want to do some setup or I want to do some calculation or I want to face some data from database or I want to clean up some database that sort of things you can do with this new info dot cucumber io dot cucumber basically but info dot cucumber that hooks was not there that was only hook which was, which was present was this before and after sorry this one before and after okay so now let's talk about the um, runner class what is the significant difference uh, i found there is no significant difference okay this is a new cucumber okay so cucumber options feature same tag everything is same there is no difference i can see and other things are as usual i did not change anything only the except the char and if i go into the info.quicks uh, if i have a runner class so let me go to the runner class same run with cucumber cucumber.class cucumber option because i have created with the jm unit if you want to create with the test engine then you have to um, extend abstract class in test ng apart from that everything is same so cucumber option feature tax and then you pass the tax here okay fine this take as an array in uh, in what you say in info.quicks you have an array but in uh, io.cucumber we have not array i can pass it like this without array by comma comma it will take it okay only tax apart from that all everything plugin glue code monorepo rerun everything will be same there is no difference okay only that that one advantage i saw and that is the advantage is like uh, before step and after step has come which is very useful in lot of interview if you go they will ask i want to take a screenshot after every step some people answer like okay i'll create a custom method but even though if you create a custom method you have to call explicitly after every step or before every step but if you create a custom method and directly if you call that method here like suppose i call a method call uh, let me go to here and tell you dot get screenshot uh, suppose get screenshot is not there uh, screenshot is any method is there i can create one method called text screenshot okay and simply i can take a screenshot okay so like that i can just call it so what will happen i don't have to specifically go into the each of the step and call it if i call it here enough it will take care of all the steps okay so this is how uh, you can get use of this info.quicks and info.io there is no difference only now the old one quicks has got deprecated because there is no much developments are happening all the new developments are happening here you can see the latest version from the Roomba JVM Java is like May 2021 they have released it and they have detail of what they have changed it everything they are talking about like they are going to use JUnit Jupyter which is very useful if you are aware of the JUnit Jupyter, you can use it. Then JUnit Vintage Engine, they are using Mockito, JUnit Jupyter, they are using so you can use um, JUnit here, okay? Jana and 5 version basically 5.1. You can use it, JUnit Jupyter 5. So, with the latest version, you can use JUnit 5 also, and some other bug fixes and all they have done it. So, you can go to the MIT license and just check what are the things they have change it hope uh, you enjoyed this video and if you need any more information please put your comment and do please do subscribe